I want to kind of debunk some of the bubblegum twin flame separation mm -hmm. theory out there because some of the some of the fairy tale uh, romanticized twin flame theory is well if your twin intentionally harms you or manipulates you or abuses you he's not your twin he's just a karmic <laughs> yeah what do, you, what do you say to that no i think like people are really missing the point of what the twin flame journey is about and it's not just this fairy tale that we've been sold you know knight in shining armor coming in no that is the purpose of this journey is to whether it's intentionally or they're doing it asleep or not is to trigger you is to hurt you is to wake you up is to cause that pain so deep down to your core that you say what the heck is going on this cannot be life there has to be more i'm done i'm tired that is the point it's not they're this and that and now i'm still looking you need to stop seeking that's the whole point and find that love within and then if they're supposed to come back and show up and you're still interested in them and it's supposed to work out then it will but you have to let go and be prepared to just go into that unknown and trust that what's the saying if it's meant to be it will be meant to be right, right. it'll right. happen what's but meant for no. you cannot pass you yeah but just to think that because they're causing you pain and your your relationship is toxic that it can't be the one like it more than likely is that's yeah. the whole point it's <laughs> not yeah there's things that you need to to heal or else you would not be in this type of relationship that is going around in circles like this there's something that the universe is trying to tell you this is why you keep doing this so usually my twin flame was my last lesson i'm good <laughs> i've learned it all like i get it now i get why i was attracted you know why i attracted all these people leading up to this crescendo of meeting the ultimate whoo the ultimate shebang of like okay i'm good so it sounds like the spiritual awakening was was bigger than uh the twin relationship oh oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> when i was finally past able to look beyond just being uh in someone's partner when I was able to get beyond just being chosen by someone, I was able to finally clear my head. And that's like the separation is amazing because like in the beginning, I just already just want, don't want to lose the connection. I get it. It's normal human behavior. I understand. But then once you kind of just surrender to it and you start looking in, you you find out so many cool things about yourself and just so many things that you didn't realize and just the self-discovery and the things that you'll never put up with again. And you're just, yeah, you look back and you're like, I can't believe I went through this cycle, but you, you're but you really realize, a different person, right? Yeah. But you realize why you had to, I'm so thankful for him, for my twin flame as much as I wish I didn't have to experience the type of things I, I, but I'm so thankful for him. So it sounds like if you would have stripped him of his twin flame title and just labeled him a karmic, you may have like discounted his importance. The, in whole, your the, whole, the, whole, the whole purpose and why he came into my life and everything would have been missed. And maybe I would have had to just go through this again and again, but now I've learned it. I understand why he came into my life. It makes sense. I've learned what I need to learn, still learning so much as a year. I think it's almost gonna be like a year into the separation. And I'm so thankful that I'm sitting right here where I am. And I'm so thankful that he came into my life and treated me the way he treated me and vice versa. It was for a reason and for a bigger purpose. And now my life has purpose where before it didn't, it really did it. And this so, is what I want people to, to kind of get that, or just kind of following that, that bubblegum theory of just automatically stripping someone's title uh, and demoting them to a, a karmic that's bypassing, that's bypassing doing the healing. As soon as yes. you know why somebody has shown up into your life, you don't heal the frequency that made that hurtful person show up in the first place. And guess what? They're going to keep showing up. Well, exactly. <laughs> under a different name. Like it's the same yeah i mean it you have to stop and take a second the separation is for you to reflect and really reevaluate what you want in your life what you want with your life newsflash you're here for more than just to be someone's twin flame or just a partner or whatever you are here to make an impact if you're watching this video you know you're special you know you're a light and you know that you're here for more the twin flame or just a, a soulmate a partner in general is just adding to the happiness that you already can have by yourself you don't need anyone else and that is the power so imagine if you you met your twin flame at a place where you clearly were not loving yourself and then you separate you surrender you start to really build yourself up to a point where you love yourself so much you're feeling it now imagine what you're going to call in and now imagine what that type of love is actually going to feel like when you thought this was it a thousand percent
Like what? I'm like excited. I'm like, oh my God. If I thought that was it, if that was the most in love, if that was the most intense that I've ever felt, now that I've actually done the work and I'm calling in a conscious, healed, like loving partner who has done the work as well. God, I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually the, the type of love that, that people are putting on this idealized version of, of the twin flame. Yeah. But if you're not a match to experience that, meaning you haven't healed your trauma, you're not a match to experience that. Well, you yeah. Know? Even, even if I wouldn't have met, like, even if I would have met somebody who was more in a secure attack, they were more secure. They didn't put me through all the things. I still wouldn't have been able to receive even a really good person that was coming in that had already done the work. There's yeah. no way I would have attracted someone. I wouldn't have been able to receive. I was still fighting myself, self-sabotage. This taught me it's it's so much more than just like what he did to me. It's also how I was handling the situation with him. What was I giving out? What was the message I was you know sending out? And it was that I didn't feel worthy or deserving of love. So even if it was someone who was ready to love me, I wasn't ready to receive. And now you know that you're worthy of it, and you would have yeah, chased it away anyway. It, yeah, and then we hear, and the cycle continues. So thank right. God, like He woke me up. Here we go, and now I can consciously and intentionally call in the partner that I know I deserve and what I've always yearned for—that deep connection.